Hello everyone, my name is Zarina and I am a teacher, lawyer, artist, entrepreneur, everything. Welcome to my Zarina's Guide. I'm going to show you how to use this template I set up, um, which is a Wheel of Fortune template. It is used in PowerPoint. You may not transfer it over to Google Slides. It doesn't work because they don't have the correct features in Google Slides, unfortunately, for this to carry over. However, it's still a fun thing to do with students. PowerPoint is still very effective in classrooms. And you can use this for other things too, um, for playing other games and you know, just having fun with friends even. So without further ado, let me jump into it. First off, you're gonna start off with this, this, this slide right here. You do not wanna use this one to make your puzzle. Instead, you want to go to where it says new slide and hang on, you might have to be on the file page. Sometimes it doesn't pop up right away. Click on this slide and over there we're on the insert tab, where it says new slide, click right there and duplicate your slide. That way you have a copy that you did, haven't messed up and you can go back to the first slide so that when you start your slideshow, it normally starts on the first slide and you would just be right there. So we'll work on the first slide as our, our puzzle. There are numbers in here that I've put in here for math teachers. And because of that, I'm going to show the number aspect of this puzzle um, how this can be set up for math teachers with a answer response to a math question that you give students in class. So let's just say the answer is going to be two. So we'll, okay, before we, before we put our numbers there, you wanna highlight the answer boxes. So let's say our, our boxes are, we're gonna need two X equals, and we'll have it equal 30. And so that's two more boxes, all right? So those are our answer boxes. We're gonna go back over to home and we're gonna shape fill. And I like to use the yellow that's about three boxes down from the top, so the third box down. And there are now our highlighted boxes, and that's lets, oops, <laughs> that lets the students know that this is as far as they'll need to answer, right? So from here, we drag our answers to our boxes. So it's two, I need an X, and I need an equals. And you may not want to have them have to guess the equals. You may already drag the equals there and have it sitting there. Um, and you'd have to remove the animation or just use your box and type it in, type in an equal sign if you just want it to display without fading in upon an answer. So there's equals and we're, let's, we're gonna go with 30, right? So here's a three and a zero. All right, so we have our answer there. Now this is what happens, you go to slideshow, play from beginning, and when you're playing, your students will see this screen here, um, whatever you're projecting it on, and then from there, they'll start guessing. Let's just say you have a wisdom class and those are all the right answers, and it's two, they spin the wheel, get their, their prize money that they're gonna earn, they keep going, and they're guessing away, and they, you want to solve the puzzle and they have it, 2x equals 30, and that's what you can do. And this is just a quick rundown of how it works. Um, of course, you don't have to use it with math. You can use it with words, and you could simply, you know, if you didn't like that, do it all over again. We can say instead we want the word, we want this to be a phrase, like, uh, let's think. What do we want? What do we want over here? Maybe we want to say, go away. <laughs> So go away, same process, you would just simply highlight the squares you wanna use, and then you would drag over the letters that represent what you want. And I'm not sure how much more time I have on this video, but just in case I run out of time, um, do follow me and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you do like this. Um, and I would appreciate all the follows. So go away and we have it almost ready okay there it is slideshow oops wrong wrong button sorry that and there it is they guess the wrong letters but they pop up the bottom until so they get the right ones guessed there they finally getting to get the bow by those vowels and so yeah, always remember they buy the vowels. They can't start off with them right away. And there you have it, go away. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Now I have to end recording way over here.